Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm looking at Starscape. Now, Starscape is a basically a top-down shooter type thing from Moonpod. Um, it's kind of very, very similar to Space Pirates and Zombies, but it has some different characters. We have Rune Fukubi, we have Dr. Max von Braun, Jenna Johnson, who looks like um, an adult film star, and Bud Wiseman, the chief of security with his really big gun, and a, a soundtrack which sounds kind of like a music from 1992, maybe? It was cool back then. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's just do a quick instant action so you have a quick idea of what's going on. I'm just going to use a keyboard on this. I tried playing it earlier with the Xbox controller, but it was absolutely abysmal. Um, it was either too sensitive or not sensitive enough, and I couldn't quite figure out what is that thing there, but I'm going to shoot it. Ah! I'm going to totally shoot that thing. Hey, missiles away! Oh my goodness. Okay, there my gotta get let my Oh, there's the big bad. It's the big bad. Okay, I gotta take these guys out. Come on, come on. Of course it's all Newtonian motion. Uh, unlike space pirates and zombies, there's no like lateral thrust going on. But uh, the plan on the instant one is you gotta kill off this mining barge before it mines all your asteroids. Yes! Excellent! Um, so yeah, Moonpot, I think it was released in like 2011 and I ended up getting a copy as part of like some indie game 5 pack. Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh, come on, move, move, move. Keep going sideways because I'm going to strafe along the side of this thing. Oh, no, 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 no! Crap, 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 crap. I'm going to let my shields regenerate there. You heard my alarm going off. Okay, so this is just the instant action. There is more to the game than this. But I'm just at least showing you so you get an idea of what kind of instant action you can get from this. Especially a game featuring a Max Von Braun and Jenna Johnson. Yes, okay, that's some of that stuff. Let's shoot pods on this side. <laughs> oh, this thing has a tractor beam, that's what it is. Right, now i got to get the rear end off it. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 don't shoot me. Okay, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> Missiles! Oh, shoot. Ah, darn. <laughs> I do kind of like the music and the weird kind of cell shaded style. <gasps> no, I was lost in the icy vacuum of space. Unless I was near a star, in which case it's not so icy. So yeah, there is actually a genuine proper game in here. Uh, I shall be Commander Jameson. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's run the intro and see what happens. In the closing years of the 23rd century, work finished on mankind's first interstellar space mission, the Aegis. I see. Look at that. Competition for command was fierce. Captain Rin Fukubi was finally selected to lead the 10-year mission. Deck. Oh, Battlebridge. As inventor of the lightspeed engine, Dr. Max von Braun was the only choice to head research. Nobel Prize winner Maya Rendon was chosen to read, lead the engineering team, assisted by her young protege, Jenna Johnson. Military officer Bud Wiseman was selected to take care of security with his collection of big guns. Due to the terrible risks involved in their experiments, the station first travelled by conventional drive into deep space. The station sped silently through space as the crew slept in cryogenic suspension. It would take five long years to reach a distance where their experiments could safely begin. And uh, presumably everyone did that. The Dimension Drive was brought online at his heart the barely contained power of an artificial black hole. I like they have the caution strip there. Black hole! As space-time began to warp, an external influence overloaded the drive. That would be the other spaceships that were nearby, perhaps? But instead of being crushed by the destructive forces, 
The station and its support vessels were pulled through a tear in space-time into an alien dimension. Ooh. And so here I am, in an alien dimension. Thank goodness we found you, Jameson. Are you okay? I was so worried. We'll be with you shortly. Try and make sure your ship is still functional before we arrive. Oh, and be careful not to hit anything. We're on our way. Use left and right to rotate the ship backwards, reverse and forwards to main thrust. Double tap forwards for a short burst of extra thrust, of course. Okay, look. Yay! Spin around, spin backwards. Okay, let's try flying somewhere. Let's not hit the side of this space station thing. We get no weapons right now. So what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh, there we go! Hyperspace effects. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Well, it's kind of a nice design. The Aegis. It's good to see you, Jameson. Please make your way to the Aegis. Be careful, though. It's a, as inertia is a little different on the grid dimension. Enter through the left or right docking port. Approach, and we will bring you in automatically. Yes, aha. Use your radar to find the station you appear as a green blip, the station is a blue blip, and the asteroids as shades of grey. Fifty shades of grey? Uh oh. The brighter they are, the more massive they are. Now hurry back, Jameson. So that whole thing about the physics not being the same in this dimension presumably is their way of explaining why when you stop thrusting you glide to a halt. It's almost as if you're in a universe with atmosphere. Ooh, that sound effect sounds like it came straight from Star Wars. Hi Jameson, I'm so glad we found you. I've repaired your gravity beam, E, and mining laser, Q. We need more resources, oh I get it, for the molecular force. Before we can finish repairs, many of the asteroids in this node contain alien elements that we can use to fuel the forge. With the mining blaster you can break up the rocks, and then use the gravity beam to gather the three different elements they contain. Purple, green, yellow. Of course, the entire universe is made up of purple, green and yellow particles, right? The crew are gone! You are the first survivor we have come across. Only a few of us remained on board during the accident. Most of the crew were pulled here and scattered like you. Jameson, I'm so scared. Rock, gather some resources and get back here fast. Okay, well that was some, not much of a welcome. Hi, we found you. Now go out and do some mining. Okay. Obviously, this uh, beam is somewhat not as awesome as the one I was using in the other mission. Let's not die. Come on, give me a, give me something. I think I'm going to be doing a lot. Ah, oh, come on! Come on, let me die. Ah! Yes, gravity beam. Yes, I got some yellow onium. Obviously. Oh, and there's some purple onium. Yes, purpleonium. Where is it? Ah ha ha ha! Excellent. That's great, Jameson. Come back inside. You have enough resources to make emergency repairs. The Aegis really took a pounding. Your ship looks a little beat up too. I wish the chief was here. This is my first tour of duty, and now I'm in charge of engineering. I don't know if I can get everything fixed. Don't worry, JJ. You'll do fine. Rendon spoke very highly of you. I think we're all in safe hands. Oh, yes. My very safe hands. Okay, let's get in here. Docking! With the little green lights. Dock, dock. Good work, Jameson. Repairs now can be complete. You may be a little disoriented. Let me bring you up to speed. There is a little, some kind of accident, perhaps sabotage. We encouraged, encountered a biomechanical alien race and were attacked and boarded. They took the prototype dimension drive and most of our computer core. With our molecular forge and plenty of resources, we can rebuild the arm the ages. We must retrieve the D drive as it cannot be rebuilt here. There are many holes in our knowledge. We lost a great deal when they dismantled the core. We need resources and only you can get them. Perhaps crew are out there somewhere, waiting. Dr. Braun calls this a node. There are many just like it. Each one connected to a world via a black hole singularity. During the accident, we were pulled through and we cannot get back out. 
I've repaired your ship, Jameson. Please harvest more of these asteroids. Be careful and unload regularly. Ooh. I'll unload for you anytime. Signal the station when you need to default dock. R default. Okay, well I guess it'll be R. Let's find something to shoot again. Yeah, oh, nothing. Mine more resources and drop them off frequently. Nope, nothing there. Ooh, there's one there. Gravity beam. Give me your green. A nugget of the finest green. Okay, we in the universe are the only people who are able to harness the power of green. Dr. Green. Okay, no, that's Dr. Green. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh crap. No, nope, nothing there. Oh, definitely, definitely bigging up the green this time. Listen to that music as well. It really does sound kind of old school, I have to say. I mean, truthfully, this music would sound uh, kind of dated even in 2003 when the game was originally released. It was released as shareware and I think it actually got its full release like a year later, 2004, but it didn't turn up on Steam until like 2011. And I look at the, the Steam page and it's like the forum has two posts in it, both of them saying, has anybody played this game? Is it any good? And yeah, it is kind of good, but you know, Space Pirates and Zombies is obviously more up to date in almost every single way. This is restricted to an 800 by 600 window. There's no, no higher resolution available. Uh, and it, yeah, you know, <laughs> lots of asteroid mining. Ooh, give me your green, give me your green. Thank you, Ominous. You're purple. Come on, hey, come on. No, no. How come, how come you can go there and I can't? It's almost like this node is some sort of hyperbolic space or whatever with walls on it. That you can just step out, but I can't. It's almost as if I'm constrained by some arbitrary rules. What would do that? Oh look, the, these things... I see. I can use the tractor beam to hold these things still, I guess. I hadn't thought of that, look at that. Well, I'm an asteroid miner. This is slightly more entertaining than it is in EVE, I will say. Which involves... in EVE you basically fly up to an asteroid, mine it, uh, you, you, you point your lasers at it to activate them and then two minutes later you've got a bunch of cargo which you take home. There, docked sideways. Drop a few of them off. Excellent, Jemison, I knew I could count on you. We need you. We will need to enter the warp that connects these nodes before the molecular force can be activated. The physics of the node interferes with a lot of our equipment. Once in the warp, we should start building defense turrets for the Aegis. Currently, we are unarmed and very vulnerable. Ooh, so wait a second. You're saying that while we're in this node, then we can't actually upgrade our spaceship. It's almost like it's a level. All these station systems can be accessed from this screen. You use the direction keys to move around. To activate an option, press primary fire. To back out, use secondary fire. To cancel and move to the blah blah blah. Okay, this is rubbish. Let me go do some things. Ah, there we go. Then we build research and build projects, select build, and then find the station character. And this takes really, really long. The turrets leave num set to one in the site. What? Within that category is a single item, the turret. Leave num set to one and assign all available crew to the project. Ah, okay, so it's basically like, tell my crew to build it. Okay, sorry, I'm just taking a sip of tea because my throat is a little bit sore. Uh, build... Batteries, 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 but Turret, station, turret, excellent. Num to build, one. Assigned crew. All of them. Start. Very good, it takes time to build a research. Let's visit another node while the turret is being made. Remember to keep our stocks of the three resources high. They are needed in research. 
construction and also to repair the Aegis and your own ship. Uh oh. That was it. We're not going to go and see any of the other groups. That's quite a cool hyperspace effect, I have to say. Be careful out there, Jameson. I lost you once. I couldn't stand losing you again. Are you saying you get something going for me? Collisions will... Really? If you need us to move in, then double tap the station signal and we'll travel straight line to your location. Oh, that's great. So I can actually tell it to go places. Awesome. Um... Oh, there's bad guys now. Ships matching the construction of our alien attackers just jumped into the node. The Aegis is still unarmed and very vulnerable. It's up to you. Get some payback and make us proud. You mean you don't have, like, your big-ass guns? Just got your secondary weapons online. You're loaded with rockets. Yes, yes, I know you like my rockets. But your ship can't carry many. When you see the bullet icon, you know you're getting low. Return to the Aegis and reload. Okay, so it's basically rockets. What's the bullet icon? Task, destroy enemy units. Okay, let's get in close. I'm gonna charge down the middle. Oh, no, 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 no. Way to go, Jameson! We are fighting back at last. They know we're a threat now. We're sure to be back in larger numbers. Really? You mean this thing might get harder? Okay. We need to fully rearm so we can be ready for them. Keep gathering resources and return when you're ready to unload. The items to the left of the radar, blah, 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 blah. Power, collected resources, and health. The items above refer to the Aegis. Total element 1 to... Element 3, Element 2, Element 1. You guys really worked hard creating the mythology of this game, right? Get mining! Okay, I will. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yes, I like the gravity beam. It means I can hold things down while I kill them. There, stay still while I kill you. Okay. Using the power of gravity so that you cannot run away, you rock you. I've had too many rocks run away from me in the past. Come on, no. There we go. This music is getting kind of repetitive. I wonder if different levels have different music or if this is just like the only music that we get in the entire game. Oh, oh come on. This is starting to get kind of tedious. Okay, let me uh, head back to the ship. Oh crap! No, sideways. I need. To, I want to reload my missiles just in case. Come on. There we go. How are we doing for fuel? From now, you'll use this control screen every time you dock. Once the jump engines recharge, you can jump out of the node and into the grid. You can also repair your ships. The Aegis as well as monitor any research and construction projects. When you're ready to launch, you can press fire or open blah blah blah. Click on your default fighter now to launch. Is this... I can repair it? Hey, excellent. Activate jump engines. I don't think so. S repair the station. No research, no development. Okay, because that's only something that can be done when you're actually in the thing. Uh, default. Okay, let's find some more things to examine. So what are these yellow blobs? It says... Yellow blobs... Are... Oh, look, it's actual... It's resources, that's cool. It's always pleasant to find some ready mind resources for me. Jump out the node as soon as I'm ready, okay. I'm gonna... Would define ready. Oh, come on! Yes, excellent. Come 
Come on. Now, you've probably heard about asteroid mining as a thing that planetary resources are doing. I assure you that they will not be mining asteroids like this. Wow, I totally hit the jackpot there. The jackpot being lots of purple. Part of that this will be my purple space program, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I like. I think. I think just having the gravity beam on seems to be the most efficient way of, of like not having things fly to me spontaneously. Also, it's a nice targeting reticule thing. I have to say, I, I find it amazing that uh, you're 300 years in the future, they're still unable to build a weapon that shoots straight. The weapon spread is quite substantial. Okay, let's um, go back. Doc, let me come in. Okay, I'm gonna jump out of here. It says jump out as soon as I'm ready. I'm probably not ready, but I'm just gonna jump out. Oh, I gotta repair my ship again. Repair, repair. Activate jump engines. Whoa! Excellent. Jumping away! I, I don't know what this thing is, but I've never seen it in the game. Your turret is complete. Use this screen to attach it to one of the four corner pods. The inner one awaits your main cannon. You can also access the gravity drive chamber. Fit the turret now and then you can check out the grid map. Ooh. Okay, so... A, B, C... I don't know. Like... Um, there. Do that. We need to get another three turrets attached as soon as possible. Don't forget to assign people to researching the main cannon. I won't sleep until this station is fully armed. And that makes me feel better. That the guy with the biggest gun in the ship is not sleeping. Navigation. Ooh, you can use the grid map to move from one node to another by moving the cursor to nodes, blah 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 blah. So I, can I stay where I am? Oh, I went back to where I went. Did I mean to do that? Ah, oh, crap. I was hoping to be able to like assign some research or something. We are making good progress, but we should work on a bigger ship hull. You'll need it if we're gonna survive. You see, this is like, it's space pirates and zombies. In so many ways. The escape pod will automatically launch. It's vital we return to the station immediately as the pod is unarmed. Ooh, you can take- for now, gather more resources so we can construct- okay. So, is this the only place I can do things? Okay, well, let's launch again. I see, um, is there anything else on the map? Nope, I'm just gonna go and hit more asteroids. Boy, this is, uh, you can see how this uh, game is really taking off. Man, there we go. Sweet, sweet, juicy yellow. Juicy yellow juice. Mineral stuff. Purple. The three, as it's the fundamental elements of the universe yellow, purple, and green. Now, I'm trying to think of can I come up with a physics which only has like three fundamental particles? <laughs> not, not our physics, obviously. I mean,. You probably need something like a photon, right? And then you would need something that's matter. I don't know, I don't know how physics could work. I'm not a particle physicist. But I've heard that there are like, um... You know, there's something called the Anthropic Principle, right? Which basically says that the way the universe... When people ask the question, why is the universe the way it is, right? Why is it that the, um... The constants of, of physical constants are all such that life is supported? And the Anthropic Principle says is, quit asking this question, it's that way because if it weren't that way, then you wouldn't be around to ask that question, right? Which is, it's a very circular argument, right? So, one of the things I remember reading about is that there's a bunch of researchers tried to, you know, come up with a model of the universe. Well, like, could you have a universe which was significantly different? And there was one example that they came up with was, they came up with a universe in which the weak force, the nuclear weak force, did not exist. Therefore, 
things like you could not fuse hydrogen, right? Because hydrogen fusion requires the weak interaction to convert uh, two of your protons. You have hydrogen fusion basically needs a, a decay of a proton into a neutron to form uh, deuterium, right? But if you came up with a universe where you know, deuterium actually forms early in it, then you could have a universe that was somewhat similar to our own that didn't have the weak force going on. Now, of course, you know, it was an exercise in, you know, in philosophy or whatever, particle physics, gymnastics. It's not saying that such a universe actually exists or even is viable, but it was just a whole way of attacking the anthropic principle as being perhaps a little self-defeating. Okay, I think I got a whole bunch of... I think playing this game is... Wait. Wait. Ow! I used up all the power in my gravity beam? Oh, I gotta go and... Gotta go home. Ow, crap! Gotta go home. Man, there's all these things just floating out here. Oh, nice, we get some drum and bass. I guess we don't have just the same tune the whole time. We have more than one tune to listen to. Okay. That's good. Now I have enough resources to begin construction of a more advanced ship. Let's get into warp and we can start the build project. Okay. Flashing the drive is charged and you can jump out of the node, etc, etc. Activate jump drive. Look, we have a gun on the bottom left now. We actually have an extra gun to help us. So let's start our research as soon as we get into warp. Okay, let's Jameson, let's start building the biggest hull we can. Go to the hull category and then select the Prowler hull item. It's currently the best, then set num to one and assign the variable people, blah blah blah. When you've mined more resources, you can build more hull, hull designs. Okay. So we want to research. We're trying to build a prowler. Oh, I'm terrible. Build type. Blasters, missiles, hulls. I've got a runabout. Prowler, excellent. Number to build one. Everyone. And okay, it's gonna take. Man, it's gonna take almost all my stock of green. Did you notice three? Yes, I did notice three resource bars. Didn't you hear me just talking about how my entire stash of green is being used used up? Hmm. You can research one thing while building another. Uh, time passes normally inside a node or when we travel, but we can also cause time to elapse by partially entering a wormhole and then re-emerging. Press skip time until the hull is finished. Okay, I can't do anything. Skip time. Nope. Oh, there we go. I gotta click this. Ready for fitting, you better go to engineering and check it out. Hey, there you are in your hot red suit there. The hull is ready, so assign it a docking bay and give it a good name. Then we can go straight to the construction scene. Okay. Um, ship 1. Well, that will. Maybe we should name them after the fundamental particles of the universe. I'm going to call this one green, right? It's like calling a ship the, the proton, right? Isn't it? Or the photon, or the neutron. Hull, blah blah blah. Fitting equipment. Add. Engines. We have... Engine 1. Okay, we, that's good. Oh, oh, look, I can put them all in different places. Let's... Yeah, I guess we have to put engines there. And we can add... Generators. Generator 1. Cool, this, this like, totally fits. Okay, add... Blasters! Right, where can we put blasters? We'll put blasters on there. Add... Hmm... Missiles, grav beams, I guess, okay. Probably put some missiles... Oh! Let's put blasters on the front here, right? And then, okay, add... Missiles, rockets! Stick a rocket launcher there. No, I can't do that. Oh, can I put one there? Nope. That doesn't work very well. Um, hold on, how do I do this? Modify. I gotta take this. I wonder if I can... Store it, assign group one, assign... Oh, I can assign group one. Okay, okay. 
that's a remove modify there modify pod store it okay let's do that again modify oh hi let's see if I can add a blaster it's it's red there as well ah see it's green there to show that it actually works so if I want missiles I have to put them in in a separate pod okay add there's rockets Ah, I see the rockets work there. Now add, what else do we have? So, grav beams, excellent. Let's stick a grav beam in there. Yes, we have a gravity beam. Okay. I think this mostly works. Can I add some blasters? Is there a way to rotate these things? No. Very basic projectile, etc, etc. Okay. I think I'm done, right? Exit! Please make sure the ship is finished before leaving. Make sure all the equipment stores have been fitted. Um, I've tried to fit all the stores, but they go red. Um, add blasters. Right to select fire to add weapon. Nope. I want to stick them. Oh wait, there's guns in the, the nose. Oh yeah, what a moron. Okay. Um, Rocket, you know what? I'll stick a rocket there. That totally makes no sense. <laughs> I'm very proud. We need to get a lot stronger to survive here, and we have a lot of work to do. Make sure we mine regularly. Yes, yeah, so let's go rooting around in the rocks for more stuff. Okay, create or modify this ship. Exit. Research and develop. Let's go to research and development. Let's research something. Blasters. Let's research better blasters. And we'll assign, we'll assign three crew to it, right? Ah, crap, we need more. We can't research that, because we don't have enough yellow. Station, station scoop. Okay, we need more materials to actually do any research. Oh, so much for that. Maintain. Ah, that's not good. Let's just, ah, exit. Let's go to the grid map. And where can we go? Map key. Navigate. Where should we go? I guess I can go back to that same place again. Actually mine some asteroids. Because, you know, mining asteroids is a very important part of the cycle of life. And so we'll take green out this time. Look, I got a, I got a much better ship this time. Look at that, huh? If only I had some shields or something. We have, look, we already got some yellow, excellent. Somebody must have been here before. Aha, some green. Another nugget of the finest green. Ah, I see, that's a whole lot better. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. No, you're gonna die? Why won't you die? I have no idea if this is a... Oh dear, no, never mind. What more do you want from me, sirs? Come on. Just looking for enough to start my research into my Frankenstein. Uh, I mean, um, you have better blasters, better blasters, right? Oh, crap! No? Oh. Come on! Are we fool yet? Must be almost full. Okay, let's go back to... Back to the base! Back to the base star! Back to the ages! Ages! There we go, docked once more. Now, I have to say that's kind of an ugly looking spaceship. Okay, what do we do? We can repair this thing. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, let's activate the jump engines now. We should be ready to go so we can actually do the research that I wanted to because I really want to find out what Blasters 2 is. 
because the original Blastoise was quite an enjoyable uh, event. Hey, you can see enemy units within the grid. Uh oh. When we move or time passes, you will sometimes see them move. I don't think they can detect us until we are close by. Something is making them something we have yet seen. If an enemy units? Okay. All units will fall into the nose in space, so be careful! Basically, it's like fly around and everything. Available resources, etc. What we're gonna do... Exit. Now we're gonna go to R&D. Research blasters. I guess we got five. Pe I still don't have enough yellow. I thought I would have. Okay. So anyway, I think it's time that I, I call it quits for for now. I'm not sure we'll be playing this much, but if you're interested, it is available on Steam. If you already have Space Pirates and Zombies, it's kind of hard to recommend unless you really love Space Pirates and Zombies and you want more. In that case, in which case, that might be right up your street. Uh, it's called Starscape. It's called. It costs ten dollars. I am Scott Manley. Fly safe.